and just grab the core stem itself and just pull back on it a little bit. Sometimes it's just a little stuck. HVAC, HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. All that stuff needs to get replaced. It's recommended that you replace the line set and everything. Your furnace or air conditioner isn't really something that people really think of until you absolutely need it. On days when you know we have extreme temperatures, whether it be cold or hot, uh, people have a newfound appreciation and uh, the HVAC service techs are now everybody's best friend. There's a short system. It's a pretty good program. It takes us through different facets of the industry, uh, sheet metal, refrigeration, air conditioning and heating and basically all the basics that we need to be able to do it, work with it. <laughs> What we're really trying to do with this class is more focus on the lab portion of things. In order to be good service techs, they need to be very proficient with hands-on skills. Well, today we're learning about how to braze and about finding leaks in the refrigeration system. A lot of things that we're going to use out in the field and we're going to definitely need throughout our HVAC technician career. If this is where we want to cut, again, just bring it down, straighten it out. I feel real comfortable here. And uh, it's, uh, they have a lot of uh, equipment to work on and a lot of, a lot of good teachers here. I know a lot of these other colleges, they cost an arm and a leg just to get a basic education. So this is really what I need to get for a workable price. Here the job prospect is endless. There's many different things you can do in this field. It's, it's very good. You could go to work for somebody or you can start your own business. That's, that's the beautiful thing about this industry. It's easy to get started on your own or find a job working for someone else. You got to do a clean and check on a unit. It's the beginning of the season, so we're going to go through hooking up our gauges. The job market in HVAC is going to be booming. They're going to be replacing, in the next 10 years, 40% of the workforce that's out there, just because of the demand that's out there. So what's our, what's our AMS at? We're at 8 AMS. There's going to be a job opportunities as long as the students are applying themselves. It's a great way to really jumpstart your life into having a career, you know. And you're helping other people be able to take care of their needs, their heating and their air conditioning needs that can really help better their lives. So it's actually work that really brings a smile to people's face. You can come home satisfied with the work you're doing.